In general, there are no particular complaints about the corrosion resistance of the model, except that on old cars, door seals can wipe the paint and light rust appears there. Superb safety is also high, according to the results of Euro NCAP crash tests in 2009, he won the maximum 5 stars. But the tricky trunk lid was not very reliable. It consists of two halves, you can, like in a sedan, open only the metal part, and for loading bulky goods, you can, like in a liftback, open it together with the rear window. If you often use the sedan mode, then over time the electrical wiring on the left side breaks, in the area where the two halves are folded. As a result, the lid will not close, the backlight may not light up in the trunk, etc. To avoid problems, mechanics are advised to use the liftback mode. And in the trunk lock, over time, the limit switch built into it fails and the contacts of the license plate lights become rusty. Most likely, due to the unimportant reliability of such a design, the modern Superb was equipped with a conventional trunk lid. The main advantages of the Superb over many competitors, and by the way, models of a higher class, are a huge trunk, 565-1670 liters for the liftback and 605-1835 liters for the station wagon, the corresponding load capacity, under 650 kilograms, and a spacious gallery where you can ride freely, as in a representative limousine. Interior design emphasizes the high status of the car, and expensive versions will please with a number of sophisticated options. Although the interior is something to criticize, so, visibility during lateral maneuvers is somewhat limited by the littered A pillars, wide rear pillars and high feet, or liftbacks. There are also complaints about the quality. According to the servicemen, the black paint on the buttons of the power windows is erased over time, and from moisture they can fail, the door car trim, usually the driver's one, can swell from a sweaty elbow, and the gear shift lever handle is also rough. In addition, with an illiterate installation of Xenon, there were cases of failure of the onboard network unit. In order for the air conditioning system to serve without problems, it is necessary to change the oil every two years and refill high-quality Freo. Engine. Under the Superb's hood, 1.8 TSI petrol engines and 2.0 TDI turbo diesels are more common. The most reliable of them was a solar engine. Its fuel equipment digests our diesel fuel well. Turbine compressors themselves have a long service life. The owners of such versions often praise them for good traction, the maximum torque of 320 newton meters is already achieved from 1750 rpm, fuel efficiency, the consumption in the urban cycle of a liftback with a manual gearbox is about 7 liters per hundred, and good dynamics, around 10 seconds. But the 1.8 TSI gasoline unit was less successful. The main complaint against him is that he sins with increased oil consumption, with active driving, its consumption is 500 to 800 g per 1,000 kilometers. Driving with insufficient lubrication leads to problems with the timing chain tensioner, as a result of which it slips along the crankshaft gear, provoking a fatal meeting of the valves with the pistons, more often this happens when starting a cold engine. In addition, failures of the high-pressure fuel pump were noted in this engine, for this reason, the engine suddenly stalls or does not start at all, and problems with the pump, loss of tightness, increased noise of operation. However, in mid-2010, the manufacturer upgraded the 1.8-liter engine, eliminating all existing problems, including increased oil appetite. It is also important to change the spark plugs in a timely manner, used with iridium electrode tips, otherwise the individual ignition coils may fail. A common feature of all motors is that over time, the space between the radiators of the cooling and air conditioning system becomes clogged. This is manifested by an increased temperature of the engine. As a rule, when driving in traffic jams with the air conditioner on, if you do not pay attention to such symptoms and do not clean the radiators in time, then in the end this leads to a failure of the electric fan, it has to work almost constantly, and the load on it increases. This node is not cheap, branded, around 10,000 UAH, as it comes with the control unit. Transmission. Versions with DSG, the superb lottery was equipped with two types of gearboxes, a 6-speed manual and a 7-speed DSG robot. Versions with the traditional manual gearbox are more widespread in Ukraine, although robotic units are also quite common. Mechanics prove to be more reliable. Only diesel versions can be criticized, in them, at 150,000 km, a failure of the two-mass flywheel was noted, clicks and knocks at the start of movement and idling. But buying a version with the robot resembles a lottery. If you're lucky, breakdowns will not occur soon. But if you're not lucky, 
get ready for unforeseen and serious expenses. The DSG has problems with the ECU, the so-called mechatronics, which is indicated by jerks when shifting gears, usually when switching from first to second gear and turning on reverse. Troubles can await you regardless of the mileage. In some cases, the problem can be solved by self-adaptation of the clutch through flashing the ECU, and if this does not help, you will have to change the mechatronics unit that has become unusable or the worn clutch package. Most superps are front-wheel drive cars, for X4 modifications are extremely rare. However, you cannot be afraid of their purchases, according to mechanics, their all-wheel drive transmission, as a rule, serves without problems. Suspension Superb serviceable suspension is moderately knocked down, it provides this large car with excellent directional stability, which is well felt on suburban highways at high speeds. The smoothness of many versions is also quite acceptable, it is better than that of the younger sister Octavia A5, only expensive versions with low profile tires of the 17th and 18th radius are hard. The chassis has been structurally changed compared to its predecessor, now it is similar to the Octavia A5, McPherson is used in front, and a multi-link is used in the back. On both axles, anti-roll bar. As experience has shown, superb suspension is durable. In front, the rear silent blocks of the front levers wear out the fastest, after 80,000 kilometers. The stabilizer struts can last 80 to 100,000 kilometers, and the front silent blocks, up to 140,000 kilometers. The resource of ball bearings is under 200,000 kilometers. In the rear multi-link, up to 80,000 kilometers, the rear shock absorbers and stabilizer struts may require replacement, but the bushings can last much longer, up to 150,000 kilometers. By 120 to 150,000 kilometers, the rubber bands of the rear breakup levers wear out, the original spare part assembly is about 450 UAH. But the silent blocks of the rest of the rear levers are able to withstand a run of under 200,000 kilometers. However, when servicing the chassis, difficulties arise. So, over time, the metal bolts for fastening the cage of the rear silent blocks at the front end to the aluminum subframe boil strongly, and when unscrewed, they break easily. A similar situation is observed with the fastening of the rear breakaway levers, if during the adjustment you do not lubricate the bolts and the cage of the silent blocks. Steering Superb rack and pinion steering is equipped with electric power steering. This node has performed well. Tie rod ends can run 100 to 150,000 kilometers and the rods themselves can run even longer. Brake system. There are no complaints about the braking system, it is effective and usually works without problems.